Hi everybody, this is Red Hill Eagle and this is TEW 2020. It's Thursday, week one of May 2001. It's WCW Nitro. And the show opens with uh, Shane McMahon and he's in the ring. And he's basically talking about the uh, the new look WCW. Yeah, and there's a long way to go. This is the first show under new management. And uh, he's hoping that he can bring something to the fans um, that they've not seen before. Ho hopefully, he's hoping he can bring WCW back to its former glory. Um, had a couple of torrid years and of course uh, nearly went out of business or kind of technically did go out of business. But uh, Shane McMahon um, saved it by the skin of its teeth. And uh, as I say, he's hoping to bring something new and fresh to the fans and uh, give them something to be proud of. Uh, 56 rating. Uh, but he's interrupted by Diamond Dallas Page. This segment gets a rating of 65. Uh, basically, DDP is just saying that you're not the right man for the job. You know, the WTW should not be in the hands of a McMahon. I know you're not your father, but you're just, you're not right. You're not right to take this company forward. You're not right to take this company anywhere. It's just, uh, you're just, you're just not the right man. So, Chairman Man, being a bit angry, says, uh, well, I'll tell you what, here's an offer for you. I'll put you in a match tonight against Billy Kidman. If you win, I'm going to make you a partner. I'm going to give you creative rights. I'm going to allow you to make decisions with me to make this a, a better place. You'll have uh, your work with me for new signings, for matches, you know, whatever, whatever you want. If you think you can do a better job, if you can beat Billy Kibben tonight, I'll give you that. A rating of 56 overall there. The first match of the new look WCW Nitro is Buff Bagwell against Shane Helms. And um, decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling. Buff Bagwell got the win in 12 minutes, eight seconds by submission. Uh, he did have to cheat, um, but it only got us a 49. Bit of a shame there. We then have a segment uh, with La Parker. La Parker, L.A. Parker, I was never sure how to pronounce that. It's only a rating of 26, but it's a graphic on the screen and it just says that next week, La Parker will be in action. That's that's all there is. And then Booker T's in the ring. And it's basically just a self promo, uh, decent rating of 72. And he's talking about the fact that he holds two belts in the WCW, two championships. He is the world heavyweight champion and he is the United States champion. And uh, you know that if you can't prove that you're the best like that, then how can you prove that you're the best? Then he's interrupted by Shane McMahon. And Shane McMahon comes down to the ring and he just strips Booker T of the US title. He says uh, no one should or can hold two singles titles. You are the world heavyweight champion. That is the one. That is the ultimate goal. That is, that's it. You can't get any better than that. Why hold a secondary belt? No one's going to want to fight you for your US title. They're going to want to fight you for that heavyweight title. So that US title is basically defunct. So I'm going to strip it of you now and I'll decide what to do with it at a later date. That's a rating of 71. And we have another graphic on screen. Next week, Leviathan will make his debut. Now, obviously, uh, anyone who knows their wrestling history will know who that is. Um, originally, he was Leviathan. I've put him onto the WCW brand, in inverted commas, because uh, we need guys on this brand, basically. Um, it's only a rating of 34. Kind of didn't expect much more. Leviathan's not very popular, so didn't really expect much more. And then we have a matchup. It's a tag team match. Jindrak uh, and Stasiak take on Hugh Morris and Lance Storm. And um, it's a victory for Jindrak and Stasiak. It was a poor match, uh, but they got the win in 10 minutes 58 when Jindrak pinned Hugh Morris with a mark of excellence. Rating of 50. And then we have uh, Shane McMahon again with uh, Diamond Dallas Page. This is uh, backstage and McMahon says, look, I was serious when I said, if you can win tonight, I'll make you a creative partner with me and we will you know, build this company. I've got a lot of respect for you, Page. You know, seriously, you know your stuff, you're well experienced, but you can't just come barging in here and tell me I'm not the man for the, rock, for the job when I basically kept you in a job. I paid money for this company, this is mine. But I am giving you this offer. If you can win tonight, you'll be my creative partner. And that's a rating of 56, and we get to the match. 
and it's Billy Kidman that gets the win. Decent reaction from the crowd, but terrible wrestling. Kidman gets the win in 10 minutes 13 by a pinfall with a shooting star press. That's a rating of 41, so Diamond Dallas Page will not become the creative partner with Shane McMahon. Overall then, 56. It's not great. Um, I have made Nitro a B show and I've cut it to an hour because at the moment um, the WCW brand just does not have any star power. Uh, the, the, the best wrestler I think is Booker T, possibly with Diamond Dallas Page and I think they're both well known and I think that the, the, the biggest star really is Shane McMahon and uh, he's not a wrestler, uh, you know I won't be having him as a as a wrestler so there's a long way to go to build this um, I don't know at the moment whether Nitro is going to last you know two months or you know six months nine months I don't know this is all about building WCW back up get a few more people on the roster get some familiar faces in and just make the invasion angle a lot better than it was in real life but to do that you've got to kind of re-establish WCW they didn't do that in real life because they're dealing with real money <laughs> and, and I'm not I'm fantasy booking, I'm playing a game, you know, so I can afford to do this kind of thing, to mess around a little bit, but let's just hope that, uh, you know, we, we can make it something a little bit better than, than what we've got in real life, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, hopefully you'll stick with me for this journey, and I'll see you all again soon, thank you very much, goodbye.